Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new night review of the Volkswagen Tygo. So if we unlock, you can see this is the style package with a matrix LED headlights. In this video, we're going to take a tour of the exterior interior details at night. Okay, welcome ladies and gents to the second part of Tygo. This is the night review. So um, for the regular audience, I'm on a new location because the location in my neighborhood, which is really ideal, is now a construction site so i had to find a new place hopefully this will be available in the future uh, because this is a auto school zone <laughs> but it's now late okay uh, unlock the taigo uh, this is the style package you can see the uh puddle lights from the mirrors and a uh, gorgeous led headlights with connected data running lights in the middle uh really gorgeous I gotta say, if we walk around a little bit, around, uh, I really like the profile of this car, the coupe design, it just looks excellent. And I'm a fan of collected LED taillights as well. Uh, the camera doesn't do it justice, it looks kind of whitish, pinkish, but it's actually red, uh, just like on my Tesla. I really love this 3D design on the lights. I wish Taigo had dynamic turn signals but unfortunately that is not the option. Uh, LED license plates, illumination in white color. The only warm color is the cargo space. Uh, you can see that uh, there's one light. Now it's fairly okay illumination. So you can see that if I remove my backpack. Now there is a bottom part, so there is a holder on the top you can see there's a spare wheel size uh, for the Croatian audience this is a spec if you pause and read it's kind of dark so just watch the day video Let's close it up now uh, if we walk to the rear um, there is fairly good illumination from the top you can see those LED lights the USB C's illuminate once you turn on the ignition. There are no lights below the seats, but the illumination is pretty solid. And now, if we check the front, uh, the front door handles are illuminated. You also have the ambient light that is extending to the front dash, and then you can see the LED lights on the rooftop as well. So it's a pretty good illumination. Now Tygo shares the interior with the Polo, but it has white interior lights in the cabin while Polo has warm lights. Now I have a physical key, so let me just switch to the wide lens. There's gonna be night point of view driving, so it's gonna be separate video, subscribe to see that. And you can see Volkswagen uh, booting screen up. Welcome to Volkswagen. Now, what I really like is this, this uh, LED uh, bar or just an ambient light. Unfortunately, it doesn't change colors. It's only white color. My uh, Apple CarPlay connected with the camera I'm using, which is my iPhone 13 Pro. So I kind of interrupted the video. Uh, but a very nice illumination. If I turn on the lights, you can also see how this looks. The interior is uh, very nice. And you have the little light over here where you put your phone, the USB-Cs illuminate. They also illuminate on the rear. And this is all uh, classical Volkswagen white color. You can uh, control the brightness in the infotainment. So just a little bit uh, closer. The screen is good. It's a good visibility. It's pretty sharp and these lights are nice here we have uh keep your lights on automatic uh when you're driving so some people drive like this look at this and then your data running lights are on but people don't see you on the road so that's dangerous put your lights on automatic and make sure you have front beam on so uh beam excuse me so you can lock here and uh, it's pretty solid inside. Now this is Waze, um, and you have, like, if I go to the meet to the uh, excuse me menu here, you can see 
This is classical. Uh, the car doesn't have purchase navigation from Volkswagen, but it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I have the Apple iPhone, so you can see the screen is fairly uh, decent resolution. It looks better in person. The colors are a little bit because of the automatic ISO, uh, not uh, the true color. Um, but it's very nice. You have the automatic AC. It's a nice layout. Yeah, I would prefer physical buttons, but it is nicely looking. Now, if you were ever wondering what this is for, this is where you put your parking cards. This little gap here. A long time ago, I thought it was maybe for coins, but it's definitely for parking cards. And this is the uh, automatic. Uh, you can see that the P is illuminated. Uh, so once you like move this, you can see that. Uh, unfortunately, this car doesn't have the backing camera, so I can't say if it's good or not. And I'm quite surprised there is no light in the glove box. That's really disappointing. So that's really not a good savings. There are uh, footwell lights on the front, nothing on the rear, and there are no ambient lights on the rear, as mentioned. Now, if I do turn on the lights on the rear, you can see it's fairly good illuminated. And if I move the camera, you can see that the USBs are also illuminated. So, and uh, nothing here, but you can see uh, good if the lights switches are on. Also, just like, let's say if you want to turn this one on, this is how it looks also uh, quite nice. So, uh, that's the Volkswagen Taigo. And for the front lights, so this is the normal beam, long beam. So these are LED matrix headlights. I will test those in my night point of view driving uh, outside the city, although this is fairly um, good as well. And uh, that's about it. This was just a nice preview, so you can uh, get a feeling uh, for how Taigo looks uh, in dark. Most reviewers uh, don't go this next step to show you the car at night. I do. I always put a lot of effort to my videos and to uh, help people who are in the car market for a new car. I don't get any commission. This is purely YouTube monetization. So if you want to support this channel, make sure to subscribe. Uh, click the little bell to get notified when I upload new videos. There's plenty of cars, petrol, diesel, plug-in hybrid, hybrid, electric. So you name it, uh, whatever you want to see, I have it on the channel. I didn't cover all the brands. I'm still growing as a channel, but I would appreciate your support. Every like on the video also helps and every comment uh, for the algorithm. Thank you for watching. Uh, be a cool person, like this video, leave your comments below. How do you like the Taigo at night? I really love the connected LED headlights and taillights. Uh, and as always, stay safe on the road. And at home, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.